welcome to On Track TV. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to use effects on your shapes when using Illustrator. So I have a star here, pink star, in the middle of my page. I just used the shape tool to create this. And we're going to get right into things by selecting on the shape that we want to add our effect to. We're going to go up to the effects drop down and up drops down this list of options. Okay, and they're divided into two categories. We have the Illustrator effects and we have the Photoshop effects. And the Illustrator effects are all going to be vector for vector shapes and the Photoshop ones are going to be for raster shapes. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this 3D effect here. So all of these effects are going to do different things. So let's just dive in and kind of test one out. So the 3D one, let's just click on extrude and bevel and out pops open this menu over here that's going to give you a couple different options. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to click on the preview checkbox here and that's just going to kind of show you what you're doing, the changes you're making, what they look like in real time. So this box over here kind of lets you move it and decide where you want this um, sort of shape to be looking. You have a couple different options by turning this or turning that different stuff like that. When you're happy with how it looks, you just click OK and there you have your shapes all done. Now what else I want to show you is how to turn on and off these effects because you can add in many effects and layer them on top of each other. So over here on the right hand side you have this little appearance menu that pops out to the side and it shows you all the different effects that you have applied to this shape. So if you turn the eye on and off, it's going to remove those effects to your shape. So for example, here's the 3D bevel one. If I just turn it off, just like that, so now the bevel is turned off. Now while it's turned off, let's go back up to effects while selected on it. And this time, let's click on the stylized one. Let's go down to the scribble. And we have this menu here with a couple different options. Let's just click on the childlike scribble and click OK. And now we have this effect, which is kind of cool. I like to use this one, so I just wanted to show you guys. But what we notice over here in our appearance menu is that there's a new effect that has been added to the list with an eyeball on it. Once again, if I click on that, it undoes the effect. Click it again, put it back on. If we put that 3D one on and the scribble one, then there we have both of ap effects applied to it. So you can turn them on and off. That is going to be the gist of using effects on your Illustrator shapes. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next lesson.